171,530 PubMed articles about glutathione. And that's since October of 2022, just recently. Now, what the heck is PubMed? That's a fair question. Well, let's go take a search. If we do a search in Bing and ask the question, what is PubMed? We come up with this. It's a free search engine accessing primarily the Medline database of references and abstracts of life science and biomedical topics. I'll let you read the rest. It's a standard for where they put research papers that is quite often peer reviewed. Do your own research on Google also. Glutathione is the miracle molecule and it's actually is a recent discovery on the value that glutathione provides for your body and new technology helps it get delivered to us better. But let's just go back real quick and let me show you what I'm talking about. If you look here at glutathione in PubMed, you notice that this graph over here, that shows how recent the articles have been published. And you notice that the meat of the articles have been published in the last 20 years, in the 2000s. See here, 122,000 of them have been published just recently. That's just meaning again that recent discovery of the value of glutathione, what it does, what it can do, and how to get it. So another valuable thing to understand. For example, let's look at vitamin C. And you'll notice we have 71,000 total views, almost 72,000. But that's been spread over a number of years. Well, we've heard about vitamin C since, as you can see, the 40s and 50s. Most of the results are still there. Most of the articles were published there since the 60s. Almost all of them, you can see. There's a more gentle curve right here. So that's been around for a while. Whereas again, glutathione is a more recent discovery and realizing the value it does for your body. Let's go back and take a look at what PubMed says. Again, we put in glutathione. You see that we get 171,530 results. Now the fun things you can do with this website is check out other articles. For example, let's go to PubMed here. What is PubMed all about? Well, it's we go to learn and find and download and explore the database journals. Many, as I said, peer reviewed, clinical studies, very valuable resource. You can find trending articles and the latest literature. Let's go back to glutathione. And I want you to find out some things you may be interested in. For example, put a space after glutathione and then type in some malady or something you're interested in, like energy. And you'll find they have 6,200 results and articles and clinical studies on glutathione and energy. Let's change that to sleeping. 471 results talk about glutathione, how it affects your sleep and about dreaming also. Let's do another one. How about glutathione and wound healing? Here you'll see 616 results. You think maybe glutathione is important to your healing from wounds? Again, just put a space after glutathione and enter what you want to know about. And you'll find that it's significant to many functions in the body. So now that you've seen some of those results, you might want to ask, where do you get glutathione? Where does it come from? Or do we have enough glutathione? And in today's world of pollution, free radicals, bad food, unnutritioned things, even a more important topic might be what happens when we don't have adequate levels of glutathione. We're at the right place because we're going to visit those things in the ensuing videos, which you can watch now. So go ahead and if you would, click on that subscribe button and take a look at some of our other videos giving you the benefits of glutathione and the problems you might endure if you don't have adequate glutathione. Look forward to seeing you on the next Glutathione the Miracle Molecule video. Thanks for watching.